What's up, beautiful people? What's up, misfits? For life of the kick-ass nation, it is I, Christopher Roush, your No Excuses Coach, here for guess what? Oh, we are walking. We're walking and we're talking. It's a walk and talk, ladies and gentlemen. A walk and talk, yes, on this beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day with lots of things to be grateful for, lots of opportunities with us and for us in this amazing thing we call life on this spinning blue marble going through outer space. Can you believe all that shit? It's amazing. What's going on? I hope you're doing awesome. I'm here to talk about leveling up. Are you, are you leveling up? Yeah, you. Are you leveling up? Are you status quo? Or are you shitting on yourself? Okay, are you leveling up? You status quo? Or are you shitting all over yourself? Status quo. Status quo is okay for a little bit of time. Status quo for 10 years is a waste of time. Status quo for a couple of months, letting things even out, you're processing stuff, sure, no problem. Hey, things are good right now. I don't need to push right now. I'm enjoying things. Yeah, status quo, it's good, it's good. But good is the enemy of great. And let me ask you, when you wake up in the morning, do you say to yourself, God, I wanna be great today. I am going to be great today. I'm gonna kick ass and rock and roll. Or do you wake up and say, you know what? I'm gonna be good today. You know, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be good enough today. Or do you wake up and go, geez, I really don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna figure it out as I go and probably the first thing that pisses me off, I'm gonna say it's gonna be a shitty day and then it's gonna be a shitty day. So let me ask you, how can you level up? What can you do to level up? Number one, you could stop with the fucking excuse that I'm so sick and tired of hearing. I don't feel like it, Chris. I don't feel like cooking healthy. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like researching. I don't feel like going back to school. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel... Fuck off. Sick and tired of that shit. I don't feel like it. Guess what? You feel like the results, right? What good would come from the fact if you just wanted something, it showed up? The benefit of life, ladies and gentlemen, is that we get to go through situations that challenge us, that cause us to say, hey, am I gonna level up or am I gonna puss the fuck out? Am I gonna level up or am I gonna puss out? Am I gonna wait, hope, wish, and pray someday when this is right and that's right and this is perfect and that's great that I'm gonna finally do something with my life and I'm gonna level up and create something that I'll be proud of? People are wasting their fucking lives every single day. And I'm getting tired of it. I'm the no excuses coach. And I've been pretty nice lately. I was going back through some of my videos. I'm like, man, I haven't lit anybody up in a fucking while. I'm out here walking. You guys know me. Anybody who watches me for a while knows I have serious back issues and leg issues and hip issues. And sometimes I can't even walk fucking 10 minutes without being in excruciating pain. I'm doing 75 hard. I'm on day 56. You see me wincing? I'm not walking great, but I'm walking way better than I was. And guess what? I had to go through a lot of fucking pain to get here. 56 days, two workouts a day, eating the right food, no sugar, no booze. Right through the 4th of July, no booze, no bad food. 10 pages I'm reading of a personal development book every single day. That's 560 pages I have read of material that has enriched my life. The workouts, I have been swimming, I have been yoga, I've been doing yoga, I've been doing all sorts of stuff when everybody said, Chris, you should take it easy, you're in so much pain, you might hurt yourself, I'm really worried about you doing 75 hard. I appreciate the worries, but my point is this, I'm walking, I'm done any injections, I'm still straight, I'm doing everything else, but I took responsibility to level up when I certainly didn't feel like it. Oh yeah, let's do 75 hard in the middle of summer when I usually like to drink and have fun and party and, you know, eat bad food and shit, right? I'm, trans I'm transparent, I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I bust my ass most of the time, but summertime I like to relax. That's my time. I'm a summer boy. But I decided to level up. I decided to say, hey, let's do 75 hard in the middle of summer because I know I need to level up because I know there are great 
opportunities awaiting me and I have to show up for those. And I have to show up for being my best self, not my good self, my best self. So how do you do that? You take care of yourself. You don't shit all over yourself. You don't spend four or five months gaining 10 pounds and getting lethargic and getting shitty sleep and getting bloated and, and eating bad food and saying, woohoo. Waking up in the morning feeling like shit and doing it all over again, expecting a different result. How many of you fuckers are out there doing that? With your addictions. Whether it's Facebook, news, sex, shopping, TikTok, fucking gardening, whatever your addiction is, what are you running away from? You need to level up. And I'm here to tell you to level up. It's amazing. When you call yourself on your own bullshit, when you sit there and you look at stuff and you go, am I doing just good enough? In this area, am I doing just good enough as a parent? Am I doing good enough as an employee? As a spouse? As, do those people deserve great? Do I love them that much that they deserve the best? Do I love my kids enough to say, you know what? I'm not going to be good enough. I want to be great. You know, I'm going to spend 10, 15 minutes a day researching what they're going through. And maybe some ways that I can understand them a little bit more effectively instead of reacting and blowing up all over them. And I'm saying that to myself, too. You guys know I'm vulnerable and I'm transparent. I... I I say this shit to myself too. I can't see who's uh, talking because the sun's right on my phone, but my point is this. Right now, right now, we can all sit there and say, you know what, I'm done. I'm done smoking, I'm done drinking, I'm done uh, excuses, I'm done with this relationship, I'm done with this job. And then you move forward on making that happen. You don't say you're going to try I don't know if you've seen my recent posts and my videos lately, but whoo, I'm sick of that. I'm going to give it a try. No, just fucking do it. Just do it. I used to say try too, and there's a part of me that thinks try is good. But again, it's good. Who wants to be great? Who wants to be excellent? Who wants to be so fucking happy they wake up every day and they go, God, I get to do this. I get to do my dreams. But you're not going to get to do your dreams if you're doing good enough. Fuck that. Do you want to go down in history saying, oh, yeah, I did good enough? I barely got by, I hung in there. I did a bunch of shit, but none of it worked. We'll do different shit. But here's the thing. Who is your team? Who's on your team to call you on your bullshit? Who is on your team to call you on your accountability? Who is on your team to say, you know what, you can do way more than this. Who's on your team? Who are the five people you're hanging around the most? I just gained a new coaching client. Thank you massively appreciate new coaching clients. And she said that her best friend thinks it's stupid that she spends so much money on coaching. I said, you need to wish your best friend well, because you're going places, you're doing stuff. And that attitude will not change. It'll only get worse. Wish her well, right? You take that for what it means, but I know I have a lot of friends that I really don't talk to much anymore. And I wish them well, love them to death. I'd be there for them in New York second. But those friends are going to be around to make sure that I go to the next level. Those friends aren't going to sit there and say, hey, Chris. No, I need coaches. I need mentors. I need people who hold me accountable. Right? I have two or three mentors who are amazing. I reach out to them all the time. My coach, Sally, she's amazing. I level up. People say, man, it must be nice to meet you, Chris. I level up. I bust my ass. I do what it takes. Are you doing what it takes? Or are you doing just enough to get by? Are you pushing? Are you trying? Are you changing shit up? Are you talking to new people? Are you Googling stuff you don't understand or don't know what to fix? It blows my mind. People tell me they have financial issues. I'm like, how much have you researched on how to get yourself out of those situations? Oh, yeah. I don't understand all that stuff. Well, guess how you start to understand? You fucking learn it. You dedicate yourself to learning. You take responsibility for your shit. And you make action. Monica Kretschmer. Universal Women's Network up in Canada. She was a guest on my show. She's become a great friend. She was being drugged through the legal system so much, she fucking taught herself law. So she could call bullshit on shit that she didn't understand before, but now she understands. She's like, uh uh, uh. She leveled the fuck up. She's like, uh-uh. I'm not going to be a victim of this. I'm not going to trust somebody to tell me what, their, what the law says. I'm going to learn that shit. Tirelessly, dedicated, committed herself to learning that, she leveled up. I don't want to be a part of this, guys. Front windshield. So I ask you guys again, are you leveling up? 
Are you leveling up? That's a question for you. So I'm telling you something. I keep leveling up every single day. There's a little pain. Uh, and I want you to level up too. So here's the offer. If you're watching this right now and you want it, send me a DM. Say, Chris, I want a free coaching session with you. It's my gift to you for watching this and listening to me go on and on and on. I'll give, I'll give you a free coaching session. Okay? That's my gift to you. What I really want you to do is I want you to take one thing from this conversation and write it down and really give it some thought on what you can change that you're tolerating from yourself right now. I'm not going to tolerate this excuse anymore. I'm not going to tolerate that I don't, that I just don't have time for whatever. I'm going to make time. I'm not sitting here talking just to hear myself fucking talk. I'm here because I need to hear this shit. And I know somebody out there like you needs to hear this also. It's in my blood. It's in my DNA. We all have the power to overcome adversity and all the other crap in our life. But more importantly, we have the ability to change our perspective about it and say, you know what? I'm looking forward to this fucking challenge. I'm looking forward to this next six months of my life that I'm not to eat shit. Because guess what? I'm going to learn some lessons out of that. And when I'm done with those lessons, I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to help a bunch of much other people with their lessons. And I'll make this world a better place. I'm going to stop people from hurting. I'm going to start helping people heal. Maybe that's what you do with your situation. You take your trash and you make it your treasure. Lord knows I have. And I'm living proof, man. I got a great life. I am blessed beyond measure. I am so grateful for my life every day. I see it probably four or five times a day. God, thank you for this, that, and the other thing. Thank you for all my blessings. And I'm not a religious person, but man, I'll tell the world, I'll tell the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. Thank you. Because my life is blessed. My life has been amazing. I've had lots of challenges that I've grown through. I'm always going to have challenges. We all have challenges. My body's given up a little bit. You know, you get older, you deal with that. There's always going to be a challenge, but guess what? Like everything else, I'm going to figure it out. And if I don't know how to figure it out, I got people on my team who I can go to and say, hey, listen, you're 10 years older than me. How are you dealing with this aging thing? You know, hey, tell me how that's how, how are you dealing with this? You know, maybe you can coach me through that. I'm having some feelings about this or some whatever. Are you leveling up? Are you going to take me up my offer? Are you I just stop it? Just stop the bullshit. Create a kick ass legacy. Life. Even the dogs chiming in. I'm going to uh, I'm going to check you guys out. Check out the comments here in a second. Uh, but anyways, I love each and every one of you. You guys are the misfits for life of the Kickass Nation. I appreciate each and every one of you, whether you're watching this live right now or on the replay. Also, make sure if you're not already, go over to my YouTube channel. I would love for you to subscribe to that if you're not already. I'm doing lots more videos. My shows are up there. YouTube.com forward slash Christopher Roush. And if you forget any of that shit, just go to ChristopherRoush.com. It's a brand new website. Check it out. Ben Hayden Rocks. Uh, go check it out. Lots of stuff there. Plus, my group coaching is starting September 13th. Taking about 14 people on that group coaching six months, you will come out of that program a different person. Let me just tell you that. If you thought this was fire, whoo, six months in a program with me. Good Lord. All right. I'm home. I did it. I am. I got to tell you this. I got to take my glasses off here for a second. I got to tell you how proud I am of myself, right? 48 minutes and two seconds. My hip and my leg hurt a little bit. Wow, I'm proud of myself because most people go, oh, I can't walk, I can't walk. I could walk 10 minutes, then I pushed myself to 12 minutes, and then it got really painful, and I gave myself a couple of weeks, and then I walked for 10 minutes again, I walked for 12 minutes again, then I walked for 15 minutes, and then my bike had a flat tire, and I walked four miles, and I was like, all right, I guess we're good. So I'm here to tell you that you're capable of way more than you think you are. I'm here to tell you that you just keep pushing, just keep putting one foot in front of the other. And I promise you, you'll get to wherever it is that you focus on most, wherever you're focusing on most, that's where you're going to get. So if you're focusing on the negative and the destructive and the divisive, guess what you're going to get. So if you're focusing on love and the opportunity that presents itself to make the world a better place and to be a part of the solution and to stop your fucking misery, your own misery, Stop tormenting yourself. Stop your suffering. Stop everything. Stop complaining. Stop everything and start taking responsibility for your life, for your decisions, and get some shit done and make the world a better place. All right. I love you guys. I will talk to you soon. Rock on.